Hello everybody, this is Big Polly coming to you on, and this is the third part of OOTP21 Building a Perfect Team. We have a little more perfect points in the bank. We're up at 1507. The game is about 60 seconds away from doing another update. I uh, just wanted to mention the web address. I do a companion blog to this uh, YouTube page and the URL in case you're interested is in the upper left. So let's get rid of that and let's move on. Some OOTP advertisements, which I don't mind. And this sucker is going to load up and off we will go. We're gonna, it should be a quick addition as we're going to get another bronze pack. I kept calling bronze packs and, and bronze tier cards gold cards last night, and I apologize for the error. If you, if you have a, a player rating of 80, that's gold. If you have a play, uh, rating between 60 to 69, that is bronze. And the system goes iron for under 60, bronze for 60 to 69, silver 70 to 79, gold 80 to 89, diamond is 90 to 99, and if you have a 100 rating, you have a perfect card. And the perfect cards are worth the most in the game. So let's go ahead and get another pack. 4,000 points. Open her up. I wonder if we'll get anybody good, or anybody that will replace anybody on the roster. Might go into the roster a little bit in depth today. Sign in, please. First two I recognize from before. Tyrone Taylor of the Brewers, Dan Winkler, Dick Drago, who is a closer on the 75 Red Sox team that was a game away from the World Series championship but ran into a very powerful Cincinnati Reds team that won the world title in 75 and 76. Joe Morgan, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, Had some very good talent on that team, considered to be one of the best teams of all time, pound for pound. Uh, of course, they played in the slightly different era. Kind of wonder how they would play today. Maybe that will be a topic for another uh, series of OOTP entries. So now I have 16 players on the reserve. And let's see if I have anybody left on an active. I do not. Uh, earlier today I got rid of uh, the players that were on the inactives that I could not sell in auctions. And we will do uh, a topic on that down the road. Uh, let's see that my team has played 54 games. It's 32 and 22 in this entry league. And teams will enter at given times and it's, it's just a hodgepodge schedule. Kevin Biggio has hit nine home runs. Uh, ML Yiddy, or Yid, uh, has pitched well, five and two with a 223, 223 ERA. Roger Murray is seven and zero oh with a 193 ERA, and that's a surprise because he's a 68. But you know you're playing a lot of teams that are just brand new and haven't had a chance to upgrade yet, as mine hasn't. So, we'll see if anybody made the team from this, and it doesn't appear so. So we're going to get rid of six players. We uh, have a starting pitcher still. That has not changed. We have four relievers, Dick Drago, uh, Winkler, Ryan, and Goody. Goody is the best pitcher, so we're going to let... Kyle Ryan go. And he is selling at 124 
and for a gold card that is not too shabby so I'm gonna sell him at 120 initially see if anybody bites on that notice that a lot of these iron and bronze cards are selling high and I think that's because the game is relatively new I got uh, my copy of the game yesterday April 28th but we are we are in a situation where nobody's playing baseball right now so I think across the country and all over the world baseball fans are are jonesing for baseball because they can't find any uh, we're gonna sell Winkler at 10 Let's see if anybody likes and I, and I had the time the, the listing duration wrong the first two parts you should try to sell these as long as you can which is 48 hours because uh, you never know somebody might want to come along and say hey let's get Winkler for 10 for 10 perfect points and some somebody might be a Chicago Cubs fan somebody might know Dan Winkler on a personal level or something like that you never know Dick Drago who's 55 closer and I have a relief pitcher at 60 so I really don't need Drago he's a He's selling uh, all-time winning bid. Average all-time bid is 45, 49. I'm sorry, and I said four, I was going to say 45. Average winning bid 40. So we're going to sell him at 39. So we're going to be doing these. Uh, we're going to be doing other series in the immediate future. I just ordered a computer today uh, uh, that's much faster than this notebook computer I've had for, since 2012. Uh, 16 terabytes. It's a refurbished computer, and I got it for like under $300 on Amazon. The only problem with getting something at Amazon these days is the weight. Usually you could get it next day, but because we are in this virus situation, it's going to be arriving next week sometime. So back to the action here. We have O'Hearn. Our first, second, third base situations doesn't don't change. We can get rid of Martin at shortstop. Although you could use them at second base too, so that might help. And I did it again. I went to the auction house, and I didn't mean to go to the auction house. Put the card up for auction. And this will be uh, one of these cards that'll either sell at a higher price or will go for five perfect points. On to a three way battle at right field between Kirby, McKinney, and Taylor. So we will get rid of McKinney and Taylor and keep Kirby. I'm going to sell him for seven. And if nobody bites, he's gone for five. And then on to Mr. Taylor. Tyrone Taylor wearing uh, the old school Milwaukee Brewers jerseys play left center and right and he will go at seven and we'll sell him for five if nobody picks him up in the next 48 hours so before I call this an episode I will go through the lineup that I have right now uh, now in perfect King perfect team they use the DH unless you play a tournament and you can use pitchers as hitters in that but in perfect team uh, you use the DH because that's kinda like the future of baseball I kinda like it when pitchers hit because if they try to hit batters then the other pitcher gets to retaliate at them but it's 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 a different era now we got pool and right Fletcher at second Kevin Biggio hitting third Mitch Webster the cleanup at DH Murphy catching Midre Cummings at center field, Guzman first base, Rebele at shortstop, and Craig Council at third. The rotation is M. L. Yiddy, Ray Washburn, Maja Murray, so we got three classic pitchers there. Uh, Lee Tunnel, who was a rookie in 83, and that's the card I have. And the only live pitcher, live starting pitcher I have is Brad Keller. Long relief is Todd Wellmeyer and Vern Rule, another uh, old-time pitcher. 
Middle, relie middle relievers are Tyler Bede, Luis Pedromo, David McKay. Terrell Wade, who I remember from the Atlanta Braves back in the 90s, he is my left-handed setup. I have two lefty setup guys. And the closer is Julian Tavares, who uh, was on the, I believe was on the 2004 Boston Red Sox team. Let me just double check that. No, he was with St. Louis in 2004. But he played for Boston in 07 when they won the World Championship against the Colorado Rockies. So that does it for this edition of uh, Perfect Team Part 3. And we'll catch you all again for Part 4 real soon. Bye-bye for now.